Jeff Holt returned to Hamble on Wednesday, 5th of August, 108 days after he left here to attempt to become the first disabled sailor to sail single-handed around Britain. Light winds wafted Jeff's challenger trimaran from Portsmouth on the last leg of his journey, and off the entrance to Southampton Water, the welcoming flotilla started to gather around him. Jeff's trip was plagued by the difficult weather conditions we've had this summer, and he had to change his route to include the Caledonian Canal rather than sailing around the top of Scotland. But none of that mattered as he approached the finish after 1,400 miles of sailing. Jeff was clearly emotional as he approached the finish and the tremendous reception that awaited him at the Royal Southern Yacht Club. Jeff, the singers were serenading you when you came in with what a wonderful day. It couldn't be more appropriate, could it? No, uh, do you know the irony? Uh, I asked the guys to sing that when I left back on May the 14th and I never got to hear it. Um, and we all know what happened on May the 14th, so to have it hear them singing it, I actually got to enjoy it um, when, when I came back and it is what a wonderful day, it's beautiful, the sun's shining, I think it's been like this down south all summer, I've, I've obviously missed it, um, we've had some horrendous weather but to see all these people, absolutely amazing, it's, it's honestly it's touched me very deeply. Well you've climbed your personal Everest, it was as harder than you thought it would be? It was much harder than I thought it was going to be, I was never in any doubt how big the country was. Um, I remember looking at the charts before we left thinking, my goodness, it's a long way. But make no mistake, Great Britain is a big, big country. And um, there were many, there were many, many difficulties, uh, not least the weather. You know, we all know about the, the, the worst summer in living memory and all that. And it, it wiped out many events. Um, and I was refused to allow it to wipe out my event. And that meant digging deep, very deep for my reserves for emotional and physical um, strength. It meant relying on my crew, and they never, ever let me down once. You know, there's eight of us in total, including me. It isn't, this isn't just Jeff. It's, um, it's a team challenge, and all of them, my project manager and all of my my uh, my team, were just superb, and they stuck with it. They didn't let me down, and they were there through thick and thin. And we've we've reached the end today, so we you know we're going to share reap reap the rewards. I think. What was the worst part of the voyage? If you ask me what the worst thing was, in total, it was probably the weather. Um, but in there were some scary moments on the water. There were at least two or three. There was the trip from the Isle of Man to Port Patrick in Scotland. It was a 60-mile trip that we had to make. We had to make it because the weather was really setting in. And I had following seas, which is not good for a trimaran um, that's very light. It just surfed. And many, many times on that 10-hour trip, I was worried I was going to pitch pole. Also, the trip from our broth to Dunbar, suddenly we had extremely hairy wind come in. And, um, uh, and I found myself physically unable to control my boat. And that's a situation no sailor wants to be in. Luckily, I had my personal rescue team with me. Hand up, request on the VHF, and the next moment was I'm being towed in. So, um, uh, so those, those were the worst bits. Were you disappointed not to be able to go around Scotland and to go through the canal? Yeah, I was. Realistically, if we if we had stuck with Plan A, we would still be up there now. I've been looking at the Met Office charts ever since, and um, uh, it, 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 it would have been beyond our limits. You know, there's times when you can sail around Scotland, there's times when you can't, and we had to just bite the bullet and go for it through the Caledonian Canal. I really didn't want to do it until someone told me it was the route that Ellen took when she went around. So all of a sudden, it, it makes it okay, and uh, if it's good enough for Ellen, it's good enough for me. And um, and talking of Ellen, she sent me one or two emails of support, and um, that's meant an awful lot to me that someone of her stature has supported what I'm doing. And um, it, it's meant a lot to me that everyone supported it. I I I've, I had emails on my website and letters of support from people that I've never met, um, that are just saying, Jeff, you've changed my life, you've inspired me, and and don't give up. And if I had to be honest, it was for them that I didn't give up. Um, the people that, that really were pinning their hopes. And you don't know them, but there's two people here today that I have met on my on, on route who've come up to me and said, you've inspired us to take up sailing. And they've, they've come to see me today. And that is so, so touching. It really is. So I said earlier, you've climbed your personal Everest. What's next? In, in the immediate future, I want to go fishing. <laughs> I know everyone laughs at me when I say it, but. I love fishing. I took my fishing rod with me and I've only used it once and I didn't catch anything. So um, 
I'm going to slip away in the next 48 hours and just get a few hours fishing, get my head together. I need time on my own to think. I'm at the boat show. Uh, my boat's at the boat show. Part of me thinks that maybe I should write a book about what I've been up to. Um, there's a lot of people would like to know the ins and outs. There's no sordid details. It's just it's a travelogue really of, of, of my personal journey to this point. Someone pointed out it was a, a journalist yesterday asked me the question, "What date I had my accident?" And I said, "Oh, it was the 5th of September, 1984." And I said, "What day is it tomorrow?" And he said, "The 5th." And it it just it took the wind out of my sails. Excuse the the, the, the pun, but it just completely bowled me for six. This wasn't planned to finish on that day. The 5th of September, 84, was the day I had my life, livelihood taken away from me as a yachtsman. And the 5th of September, 2007, is the day that I've climbed my personal you know, Everest as a disabled yachtsman. And that's quite fitting, I think. Well done, Jeff. Many congratulations. Cheers. Thank Thanks you very, very much. much. I really appreciate it. Thanks very much.